Hey there, it's Tanya with another Truth Telling Tuesday. Today I want to tell a story about the wrestling coach at my high school, Coach Brandstetter, who was um, given some huge honor recently and is in very, very high demand being asked by colleges and businesses and people are just wanting him to speak because of his tremendous success that he had during his years as a wrestling coach. And I don't know how many champions championships he won, but he is just phenomenal. And he said when they asked him, you know, what would you attribute your success to? And he said, well, you'll find out when my book comes out and you can, you know, look at the first page and there you'll find a mirror. And that's the answer for you to look at yourself and create that mirror of excellence. And I just love that because that's what Truth Telling Tuesday and Tribal Truth is all about. It's all about the mirror. It's that your life, your business, all of it is a mirror of you. And really, there's only you out there. And when you can really get this, you can really, really get the power of this, it can shift everything for you. And so when I'm looking at this mirror of myself and creating that standard of excellence within myself, I would say that there are four key things that I'm creating in that foundation. And I want to share those with you today. The first thing is accountability. And this is something that I think we all resist. And most recently, I have been resisting myself in that I have been uh, cleaning up a lot of relationships recently. And I did not want to be held accountable to have a few conversations with a few people that I um, you know, had just uh, disconnect with. And this is one thing that I'm always striving to do is to constantly be cleaning up any miscommunications and any disconnections in any of my relationships. And it's kind of like, a, don't call me on my stuff and I won't call you on yours. So if you find yourself in that situation where you're avoiding accountability, really look hard at that and look at how you can embrace accountability because that is one of the things that's going to create excellence in your life. The next thing would be generosity. And this is generosity in that you give without expecting anything in return. This can be generosity of money, of course, but also of your time and your energy. And I'm always looking at this. I'm always looking at how much I am expecting acknowledgement that I am giving things to people, but I'm expecting acknowledgement in return. This has been a huge mirror for me, a huge learning curve. The third thing is integrity. And integrity, I mean being your word. If you give your word to something, it's about honoring that. And here's the thing, you're always going to be breaking your promises. But it's in how you do that. Are you going to call someone and tell them that you have to you know, change plans or are you not going to call them? This is a huge one for me recently around really um, creating integrity in my word and when I tell someone I'm going to do something and I'm not going to actually follow through on it to actually be honest about that and communicate that and create something and make sure that I'm handling that person's concerns and the impact that it has had on them that I am not honoring my word. And that's something I think really, really critical is we forget that everything that we do is impacting other people. So cultivating that awareness and then being able to express that you have that awareness can make a huge difference in your relationships. And then the fourth thing is responsibility. And this is really all about that mirror of I am responsible for every single action that shows up in my life. I am responsible for every single circumstance that shows up in my life. And that gives me tremendous power and freedom. And I have that freedom to choose that I was talking about last week 
And that really comes from taking responsibility for that. I would love to hear of how you might take one of these things on this week. Or what other standards of excellence do you have for yourself? Please share those with me and the rest of the tribe. And we look forward to uh, seeing your responses on this blog. Talk to you soon.